Welcome. We're going to be doing algebraic expressions today on 3-5, Practice and Problem Solving for Envision 2.0, 6th grade math. My name is Jason Jacobs, and uh, let's get started, guys. Here's an algebraic expression, and you can see we have 7 times x. 7x means 7 times x. That's important. And what I want you to know is that 7 next to the x is called a coefficient, and the x is a variable. That's important vocabulary to know. And when they're right next, when the coefficient and variable are right next to each other, that's um, multiplying, okay? Now here we're saying x equals 6. So what you do is you take the algebraic expression, and you turn it into a numerical expression, 7 times 6. Now that equals 42. Okay, so let's see if 42 is right. What? <laughs> My fingers were a little excited and accidentally hit the three. All right, we got it right. Hooray. Moving right along, I just picked um, five for us to do today. And x divided by four. Now we're going to test it out for each one of these guys. You can see it's a multi-step um, problem. There will be more of these. So the first one is 1.4 divide it by 4. Now, you are allowed to use a calculator when doing this. You don't have to, but it, it is allowed. So this one equals um, 35 hundredths, 0.35. And now we're going to try with 5 in there. So 5 divided by 4, that equals 1.25. And then 6.8 divided by 4, and that equals 1.7. All right, so we tried out different ones, and, and maybe one day we'll graph them and, and we'll compare them. So that's how that works. Now... The y right next to the parentheses. Now, that means multiply. So we're going to multiply 1.4 times 4.15. So you just go 1.4 times 4.15. And I got 5.81. 5 and 81 hundredths. And now we'll try it with 5. 5 times 4.15. And we'll get 20.75. And now we'll uh, substitute. It's called substitution when you substitute it in for the variable. 7.2 times 4.15. And I got 29 and 88 hundredths. I keep type, guys, I keep typing in and I don't have my cursor on the thing. Have you, has that ever happened to you guys? Oh, now, some great vocabulary while we're watching this. This is the sum of two terms. This is a term, and that's a term. And terms are separated by either addition or subtraction. So now we're going we're gonna to substitute this value in, and we're going to go 2 times 1.7 plus 3.8. So the first thing we do is the 2 times 1.7. And, and you're allowed to use a calculator to do that, but you still got to show the steps in your math notebook. And then we get 7 and 2 tenths. All right, and the next one. We're going to go 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, guys? See how A equals 5? See that A equals 5? So 2 times 5 is 10 plus 3.8. That would be 13.8.
And then we're going to plug in that 6.3. So we're going to go 2 times 6.3 plus 3. And you do that first, and then you will add the 3.8. And for me, I got 16.4. What did you get, guys? All right. Now we're plugging this in. I'm going to teach you how to do this. Watch. So you have four fifths plus four fifteenths. Now when we're adding with fractions, we're going to have a common denominator. So what's common between five and fifteen? Let's find the LCM using the list method. Fifteen thirty. Do you see what the LCM is? The least common denominator or the least common multiple? So now we're going to have to multiply this five by three and the four by three, and we get twelve fifteenths plus 4 fifteenths, and that equals 16 fifteenths. A little funky looking 5. 16 fifteenths, which equals 1 and 1 fifteenths. And I hope that works here. 1 space 1 backslash 15. We did it, guys, and that, my friends, is all we'll do for today. That was 3-5, Practice and Problem Solving on Math and Vision 2.0 for Grade 6 Math. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.